Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a reverse heart rainbow tie-dye. I washed my shirt in the washing machine and I've pulled it straight out of the washer and I'm going to tie it while it's still damp. I have a pencil that's made to use on dark fabrics and I'm trying that. It's white. I can't see it really well but I did go ahead and mark the bottom of the front of my shirt and the top and then I isolated the front part of my shirt. I have a stencil for my heart that I've cut out of a piece of plastic cutting board and I'm just taking this pencil and trying to draw around the stencil. It's kind of making a mark on the shirt enough that I can see it to fan fold with it. You can also use a colored pencil like a white colored pencil if you have one of those. Just don't draw too heavily on the shirt. I'm going to fan fold my line. I can, like I said, I can sort of see it because I'm up close to it at the time. I know you can't see it on the video though. I'm very sorry. After I've finished my fan fold, I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. Then I'm going to put about two or three extra rows of sinew outside of my heart just to add a little bit of extra design to my heart. For the rest of my shirt, I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to put some rubber bands around it to just kind of hold it in place. Okay, now that the shirt is tied up, it's time to go ahead and remove some of the color. So I'm going to use a RIT dye remover, and I'm kind of using a combination of a couple of the different instructions that they have on their box. I've taken a bucket and I put some really hot tap water in there, and then I boiled some water on the stove, and I'm pouring that down inside. So my water is really hot at this point. I've added two boxes of the RIT color remover and stirred it up and I'm adding my shirts. I'm going to add four shirts to this bucket all at once. I have a pair of tongs that I got at the dollar store that I use only for tie-dye and I'm using those to stir this bucket with. The box says that you can leave your shirts in the hot water for up to 20 minutes so that's what I did. I took them out after 20 minutes, rinsed them in the sink in warm water, unwrapped all of the shirts that I had tied, threw them in a washing machine, washed them with a little bit of Dharma textile detergent, and took them out. Then I'm going to soak them in soda ash like you normally do before you tie-dye, and tie them up again to dye. So for this one, I'm going to do a spiral on my shirt. 
So I've just laid my shirt out flat and I'm using my fork to help begin the spiral. This is an old fork. The tines of this fork are worn down. They're not sharp at all, so I haven't ever had any issues with it poking a hole through my shirt. If you're gonna use a fork to start your spirals with, you need to make sure that either you sand down those tines or that it's one like this. It's really old and is not sharp on the ends. After I have my shirt spiraled, I'm gonna hold it in place with some rubber bands. So for this shirt, I'm going to do a rainbow die. So I'm putting my colors on in a pie shape and I'm using fire red, deep orange, lemon yellow, bright green, turquoise, grape, and fuchsia. I'm trying not to go through the middle too much. I want a little bit of color in the middle, but if you put all the colors in the middle, it's going to kind of get muddy when they all mix right in the middle of that swirl. So I'm trying to just barely go through the middle of the shirt with my colors. Once I have the front of the shirt saturated really well, I'm going to turn the shirt over and put the same pattern on the back side of the shirt. All right, so here's what our shirt ended up looking like. Hey, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.